So this is the GeoGebra iPad app, and as you can see, when you start it up, you get a graphing uh, window, a toolbar along the bottom, an input bar on the lower right side, and a few um, tools at the top, as well as the name of your document, in this case, Untitled 1. Pretty creative, huh? So down in the lower left, you can see there's a little uh, finger tool. Basically, that allows us to use our finger to move the, the graphing window around so that we can see coordinates. If you want to uh, have graph paper or a grid in the background, you can just click the tool in the upper left corner there that turns on the grid. I like to have the grid on, so I want you to do that when you make your graphs. Um, there's a side window here uh, which we can, we can tap on and make it go away so that we get a full screen graph. So this is what we're shooting for. Now our goal is going to be to graph a line um, and have GeoGebra tell us the slope and then also to change the name of this document from untitled to something that uh, we recognize. So that is very easy to do. All those objectives are easy to achieve. The first one, to graph a line or any equation for that matter, any function, we simply go down to the input bar and we tap. And when you do that, the input bar a window pops up along with a keyboard and we are able to type in our equation. Now notice in that little blue input bar box there, there are extra uh, keys that you can use. For instance, the equal sign is going to be one that you want to have handy as well as the plus sign, uh, squared, degrees, pi, things like that. So I want to type in y equals 2x plus 1. That's a linear function that you're familiar with. And so I type in y, I hit the equals button there. Uh, go to my numbers and hit 2, back to x, plus, back to the numbers, and 1. You can see y equals 2x plus 1 shows up there. When you're ready to complete your input, you simply hit return on your iPad, and the line is drawn. Now, it's a pretty boring line right now, but if you tap the line itself, you can change its properties. Uh, notice in the upper left corner there, a little properties tab popped out. And if you tap the black square, it lets you change the color. Since we're dragons, I'm going to choose red. Uh, if you tap the setting square, which is that one with the little sprocket and the light blue square with the dots, that allows us to, to change the, uh, the way the line looks. We can make it thicker by sliding the slider. And we can make it dashed if we want. I'm going to stick with a solid line. And then if you just tap on the window somewhere, that'll go away. So now I have this red line. It was y equals 2x plus 1. And notice, um, if you tap the two a's, you can have the label show up on the line. So I'm going to click first on value so we can see what that does. Nothing happened. If I click on name, nothing happens, except notice at the top an a shows up. Let me show you why. Remember that uh, right-hand side sidebar that we pushed away? If you tap the arrow up there, it'll pop back out. And notice our line's name is A. If we want the name and the value to show up for a line, I don't think it does. Yes, it does. And I think if you grab that, you can move it a little. Oh, shoot, I moved the whole line. Sorry about that. Fiddlesticks. Let me get it back to where it was. Oh, now I've done it. See, so one thing you should know is you can move your line around. And uh, if you can't get it back exactly where it was, you tap on the equation and you can put it back. So I tapped on the equation and I'm going to put it back where it was. Uh, nothing like uh, making an error when you do your video. So here we have this line y equals 2x plus 1. It's got a label, it's got a name. Uh, the last thing I want to do is have it tell us what the slope of the line is. Now, you should already know the slope is 2, but I want to show you the slope tool because as we start to create these um, different uh, geometric shapes uh, with GeoGebra, we're going to need to figure out the slope. So down in the lower toolbar, there's a little angle button that has a uh, looks like a letter A. It's actually an alpha and an angle shaded. And if you tap that, there are several tools that go along with angles. And the last one, the fifth button there, is a little rise over run tool. If you tap that, and then you tap the line that you want to know the slope of, it'll put the rise and run in there for you. In this case, m equals 2. 
So not only can we have it graph our line, but we can have it tell us the slope. That's going to be important as we do a few activities that have to do with the slopes of different lines. The last thing I want to show you uh, before I end the video is how to change the name of this document. Right now it's called Untitled 1, which is not very creative. Instead, let me tap on the name and the edit box pops up and I can type in a new name for this. So I'm going to put graphing, graphing a line. You can put spaces in if you want, but I chose not to. And when I'm done, I just hit return. And now I have graphing a line, which is the name of my uh, GeoGebra workbook. I have my graph panel here showing my line with a slope. And um, I'm going to show you in class how to take a screenshot of this so that you can save it to the photos and then submit it to me. Um, so you can get credit for doing the activities today. So good luck with GeoGebra. I think you'll find that this is a great tool. And certainly having these iPads to work with is going to make things nice. Good luck.